Heart failure, sometimes known as congestive heart failure, occurs when the heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. When this happens, blood often backs up and fluid can build up in the lungs, causing shortness of breath. A special shout out to everyone who is watching this video. If you are new to this channel, a big shout out to you. Please, kindly subscribe and comment below. Certain heart conditions, such as narrowed arteries in the heart coronary artery disease, or high blood pressure, gradually leave the heart too weak or stiff to fill and pump blood properly. Proper treatment can improve the signs and symptoms of heart failure and may help some people live longer. Lifestyle changes, such as losing weight, exercising, reducing salt, sodium, in your diet and managing stress, can improve your quality of life. However, heart failure can be life-threatening. People with heart failure may have severe symptoms, and some may need a heart transplant or a ventricular assist device VOD. One way to prevent heart failure is to prevent and control conditions that can cause it, such as coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, diabetes and obesity. Heart failure can be ongoing, chronic, or it may start suddenly, acute. Heart failure signs and symptoms may include shortness of breath with activity or when lying down, fatigue and weakness, swelling in the legs, ankles and feet, rapid or irregular heartbeat, reduced ability to exercise, persistent cough or wheezing with white or pink blood-tinged mucus, swelling of the belly area, abdomen, very rapid weight gain from fluid buildup, nausea and lack of appetite, difficulty concentrating or decreased alertness chest pain if heart failure is caused by a heart attack when to see a doctor see your doctor if you think you might be experiencing signs or symptoms of heart failure call 911 or emergency medical help if you have any of the following chest pain fainting or severe weakness rapid or irregular heartbeat associated with shortness of breath chest pain or fainting sudden severe shortness of breath and coughing up white or pink foamy mucus although these signs and symptoms may be due to heart failure there are many other possible causes including other life-threatening heart and lung conditions don't try to diagnose yourself emergency room doctors will try to stabilize your condition and determine if your symptoms are due to heart failure or something else if you have a diagnosis of heart failure and if any of the symptoms suddenly become worse or you develop a new sign or symptom, it may mean that existing heart failure is getting worse or not responding to treatment. This may also be the case if you gain 5 pounds, 2.3 kilograms, or more within a few days. Contact your doctor promptly. Causes. Heart failure often develops after other conditions have damaged or weakened the heart. However, Heart failure can also occur if the heart becomes too stiff. In heart failure, the main pumping chambers of the heart, the ventricles, may become stiff and not fill properly between beats. In some people, the heart muscle may become damaged and weakened. The ventricles may stretch to the point that the heart can't pump enough blood through the body. Over time, the heart can no longer keep up with the typical demands placed on it to pump blood to the rest of the body. Your doctor can determine how well your heart is pumping by measuring how much blood is pumped out with each beat, ejection fraction. Ejection fraction is used to help classify heart failure and guide treatment. In a healthy heart, the ejection fraction is 50% or higher meaning that more than half of the blood that fills the ventricle is pumped out with each beat. But heart failure can occur even with a normal ejection fraction. This happens if the heart muscle becomes stiff from conditions such as high blood pressure. Heart failure can involve the left side, left ventricle, right side, right ventricle, or both sides of your heart. Generally, heart failure begins with the left side, specifically the left ventricle, your heart's main pumping chamber. Any of the following conditions can damage or weaken your heart and can cause heart failure. Some of these can be present without your knowing it. Coronary artery disease and heart attack. Coronary artery disease is the most common form of heart disease and the most common cause of heart failure. 
The disease results from the buildup of fatty deposits in the arteries, which reduces blood flow and can lead to heart attack. A heart attack occurs suddenly when a coronary artery becomes completely blocked. Damage to your heart muscle from a heart attack may mean that your heart can no longer pump as well as it should. High blood pressure. If your blood pressure is high, your heart has to work harder than it should to circulate blood throughout your body. Over time, this extra exertion can make your heart muscle too stiff or too weak to properly pump blood. Faulty heart valves. The valves of the heart keep blood flowing in the proper direction. A damaged valve, due to a heart defect, coronary artery disease or heart infection, forces the heart to work harder, which can weaken it over time. Damage to the heart muscle. Heart muscle damage can have many causes, including certain diseases, infection, heavy alcohol use, and the toxic effect of drugs, such as cocaine or some drugs used for chemotherapy. Genetic factors also can play a role. Inflammation of the heart muscle, myocarditis. Myocarditis is most commonly caused by a virus, including the COVID-19 virus, and can lead to left-sided heart failure. A heart problem that you're born with congenital heart defect. If your heart and its chambers or valves haven't formed correctly, the healthy parts of your heart have to work harder to pump blood, which may lead to heart failure. Abnormal heart rhythms, arrhythmias. Abnormal heart rhythms may cause your heart to beat too fast, creating extra work for your heart. A slow heartbeat also may lead to heart failure. Other diseases. Long-term diseases, such as diabetes, HIV, an overactive or underactive thyroid, or a buildup of iron or protein, also may contribute to chronic heart failure. Wow! Don't forget! One way to prevent heart failure is to prevent and control conditions that can cause it, such as coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, diabetes and obesity. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.